Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we're going to learn how to gain access to stable diffusion. If you are here, probably you know what is stable diffusion, which is a big competitor of OpenAI DALI at this moment. The image quality is amazing. I've got a comparison video, please check it out. So if you're wondering how to gain access to stable diffusion, or the company behind it is called stability.ai, which says AI by the people for the people. I'm going to tell you two different ways based on the roles that you are in. First step is, if you're just like anybody like me, um, a normal human being on planet Earth who wants to try your hands on AI art. So what you have to do is you have to head to stability.ai and scroll down to the bottom most section where you can see join our beta access and help create a future full of creativity. Stable diffusion beta and then sign up here. So you can sign up here. And when you click that, that will take you to this, this page where you can define your details and you can do all those things. And then stable diffusion, when they decide stability.ai, when they decide to send out access beta access, you will probably receive one of the access. Once you get access, you are ideally getting access to this discord channel where you can um, come and then, you know, start dreaming. You can see what kind of things people are generated and then you can you can start seeing um you know you would be also able to create images like ai art using this so that is one way so this is if you are a common person common uh, human on the internet who is just enthusiast and then you want to try your hands on stable diffusion this is way one step one or way one the next thing is let us say you are not a normal human but you are a researcher or um, academician, um, academician, whatever it's called. You are either in academics, you are a um, 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 researcher. Then what you can do is you can go to their GitHub repository, which is um, where they have announced the code, stable diffusion, compass stable diffusion. When you read through it, you will read all the details. But what you can see is you can see request to access, request access to stable diffusion. We want checkpoints for academic research. Once you click that, you will be taken into a place where you can again enter the details of a researcher that will give you access to the weights and um, and also other things now um if you want to see where will you get the model from the model is actually already uploaded on sta um, hugging face model page for a compass table with diffusion so it's currently only available for universities academics research institutions and independent researchers and you can apply and you would have also noticed andre karpati like who is the former head of AI for Tesla um, is already generating a lot of images on his own GPU, like personal GPU. And that is the advantage if you gain access to the model and model weight. Uh, so this is the second way. So just depending upon who you are, whether you are a common person, whether you are a researcher um, in this domain, you can decide how do you want to gain access and then you will get access to stable diffusion. Stable diffusion is also, I think stability is also exploring other ways. Um, I mean, I, 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 uh, I don't know exactly, but I think their objective is to enable a lot of people use it so that the creativity can be spread. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I wish you the best to gain access as soon as possible. See you in the next video.